Oh, it's like an all you can eat buffet. He doesn't even know how to act. Oh my god! My Walden people, welcome to the wild world of Farley. Let's get it. Stay wildin'. Welcome to Snailtopia. Guys, this tank is covered in snails. What started off as a gumpy tank has turned into a snail tank, a planted snail tank. Guys, these snails are wreaking havoc. It just this doesn't make any sense. You guys see the little baby guppies? Look at all the little baby snails. All right, let's see. We got snails. Oh, my God. Now, that place right there, that little moss ball is covered in snails. Look behind the filter. Snails. Look at all the plants. Snails. Hey, look at that. Yeah, it's a guppy. Let's focus, focus. What's up, little baby guppy? All right, where else? We literally have snails on every single plant. Big snail. That's a Goliath snail. So I've made it to Publix. We're going to go inside. I was actually going the wrong way because I got distracted. One of the methods you guys commented below and let me know to use to get rid of snails are cucumbers. So I'm looking for some organic, freshly wrapped cucumbers. And apparently it's as simple as dropping the cucumber inside the tank. When I rip out the cucumbers, I should have it fully loaded with snails. So we'll see if that works out. I'll let you guys know what happened. Actually, I'll show you guys. So let's grab a couple cucumbers and we should be good to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is my fresh, natural, organic cucumber. Just going to cut it in half like that one half for me one half for this name so I've already washed them I've scrubbed them make sure they're really good so I can put them into my tank I'll probably rinse them off in some some of Olympia's healing water then we'll be ready to put this in the tank perfect all right so we have made it back to the tank here's a cucumber just gonna remove the oh my god are there any babies stuck in the back oh there are some babies growing in the back and a bunch of snails all right, I'm just going to drop the cucumber right now, like so. Now it's just floating. Apart from that, I got my GoPro. I'm going to try to see if I can get the shot with the GoPro. All right, so the snails have even attached themselves to the GoPro. All right, so the GoPro is on right now. This is underwater footage that you're seeing. Everything is at, I think, eight times speed. What I've noticed are the snails are trying to move up. So they're climbing up the back of the tank to get to the top of the surface of the water. Right there, you see that arrow? And once they make it to the top of the surface of the water, it seems like they try to grab onto the cucumbers. Let's see if we can see any shots of them. It looks like some of them are making it right now. If you look at that cucumber, you do see some snails on it. Now the cucumber's turning, so you see the snails to the left of it. All right, and you see some more snails trying to make it to the top. So this, this does work. All right, so it's the next morning. I did leave these cucumbers overnight. Let's take a look. Do we have any snails on these cucumbers? Oh my God. Okay, we got a giant snail. That's one way to remove the snails. Let's see if we got anything over here. Oh, this one was good. This was a good one. Let's see. Okay. This has a good amount of snails right here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. Oh, okay. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Has a good amount of snails on there. Get a closer look on the snails. I put this in my snail container. Let's flip up the other cucumbers and see if there's snails on them. I've taken all but one cucumber. I'll probably leave that for my pleco. Let's see. All right, so here's all the snails I was able to get from the cucumbers on this plate. There are a couple more snails, like this giant snail right over here. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to take care of him. But whoa, take a look at him. All right, that snail is going ham on that cucumber. He's really enjoying that cucumber. Almost forgot here in the back of the filter. Did we get any snails? Let's take a look. Reaching in, reaching in, and oh my god. This one is almost full of snails. All right, guys, so what I've learned is the cucumber slices work much better than the actual chunk of cucumber. All right, but other than that, we're good to go. I need to find another method to get rid of these snails. So unfortunately, the cucumbers did not work as well as I had hoped for them to work. As you guys can see, there's still a bunch of snails. But you guys did comment below and let me know that yo-yo loaches would work. Guys, I searched long, I searched hard, but I could not find yo-yo loaches until I went to the neighborhood fish farm. Finally, finally, we have finally found the yo-yo. 
loaches. Like you saw, they did hook it up. So I have these yo-yo loaches right now, a good size. While I put them in this tank and allow them to acclimate, I'm gonna try to remove the baby. Oh my god, someone just had babies. One of my guppies just had babies and released them all throughout the tank. As you guys can see, the little white babies are swimming around. Look at that, that's a good one. Oh, there's at least 10 right there, guys. All right, so I'm gonna scoop them up very quickly and put them into the guppy tank, the baby guppy tank. Okay. Okay, there's one baby. So far, about 20 babies have been rescued. You guys can see them leaving the net. All right, there's about three right here to scoop them up. I've got two of them. Got two of the three. Where else? There's, oh, there's two right here. Oop, got two. Got another one. I don't want to keep them out of the water for too long. Oh, there's a, there's a pair of babies right here. Got him. As you guys can see, can you take a look. He's right in there. There he is, going down, going down, swimming down, and bam, been released. All right, I've saved all the babies that I could find. There's still a couple more babies. I'm gonna allow these yo-yo loaches to acclimate. And then they'll be released to do their job, to get rid of all these snails. There's about three yo-yo loaches that I do have in here. Yo-yo loaches are known to live in harmony with guppies, with um, platies, with mollies, and other tetras. So they should get along well. Oh, look at this girl. She's about to give birth again. This girl's about to give birth for sure because she's a box shape. Like I was saying, they're gonna live well with my little guppies over here. I more than likely will maybe keep one or two of these yo-yo loaches to keep the snail population down. If I wanted to keep all three, I'd need a bigger tank. But we'll see what happens. Ideally, one loach should be fine for this tank and we'll be able to live in harmony with these guppies. But I'm going to put all three of these yo-yo loaches in this tank to take care of all these snails on the wall. While the loaches are, oh my god. I was about to say while the loaches are acclimating, you guys can already see these snails have attached themselves to the bags of the loaches. But while the loaches are acclimating, I'm just going to feed the little baby some bug bites. Watch them go. Oh wow, that one has some color to get. Whoa. Guys, take a look at that big boy right there. Take a look at that big one right there. He's showing some color. Where is he? His tail is red. In about 15, 20 minutes, these fish are well acclimated. It's time to take a look at these yo-yo loaches and have them do their job. Good. Don't know if you guys can see him well. Got my net. Let's try to scoop one up. Okay, perfect. I finally got one, guys. I finally got one of the yo-yo loaches. Right, if you guys take a look at it, if you look at the pattern, it kind of looks like it's a Y-O-Y-O. -Y -O. That's why they call them yo-yo loaches. Apart from that, the way they swim kind of resembles a yo-yo going up and down. Let's set this yo-yo loach free in the tank. Oh, he made it up. There he is. He goes straight to the bottom. These yo-yo loaches love dwelling in the bottom. And what they do is just swim and scavenge for food. All right, let me see, let's take a look. First one has been released. And let's see what he's doing. Come on, attack the snails. Attack the snails. Come on, come on. All right, so he's just adjusting, just getting used. But again, look at the pattern. Kind of looks like a Y over there and a Y-O, -O, y -O, y o That's why they call them yo-yo loaches. Soon. And he's free. See what he does. Again, he's on the bottom too. Right over there on the bottom. He's going berserk. Oh, it looks like he's actually uh, starting to eat snails. Oh, yeah, he's going in. We got one more to set free and have him do his job. These yo-yo loaches can grow up to be about six inches max. See what he's doing. Okay, he went in the back. But this one is putting in some work. Look at look at look at the left side of the tank. The left side of the tank is pretty clear. You guys, yo-yo loaches are the way to go if you're looking to get rid of snails. Look at them going in. Oh, okay. This one's spazzing out right here. They are going crazy. Oh, okay guys, we saw him pick up a snail just now. 
This is like an all you can eat buffet for these loaches right here, these yo-yo loaches. Okay. Alright guys, so I'm just gonna leave them here. Hopefully they do their job, hopefully they take care of business and get this tank looking a bit more cleaner. That's what I'm talking about. Can't wait for these yo-yo loaches to get thick. Alright my Walden people, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Guys, you got an update on my guppy tank and we're dealing with the snail situation. Guys, thanks for your comments below and letting me know how to take care of the situation. We saw the cucumbers work. Now, we just gotta rely on our little buddy, the yo-yo loaches, to get the job done. And shout out to the neighborhood fish farm Miami for always picking it up. Guys, I got these loaches. Cause I couldn't find them anywhere. I was going everywhere looking for them. And I finally was able to find them. Alright guys, until next time, stay wildin'. Hey! Hey you viewer, before you go, I want to say thanks for watching. Apart from that, if you haven't already, subscribe, give me a like, and of course, stay wildin'.